So you know, like naturally when you've finished and you're mm-hmm, mm-hmm. shaking it off. Yeah. <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> this, is big, this is huge, man. I don't like any residue. Got you. Of does, any like. Do, does anyone? Well, no, but <laughs> I feel like maybe I've got a problem, but when I'm we, like it takes me a while for it to all come out. I think because like it's so long, it just takes a while for right, it to come right, out. Right. I got a few questions from oh, wow. people on Insta. Yeah. Wow. You and asked, who's your dream artist to work with? I say it all the time, it's Drake. Yeah. Like, okay. and he's starting to do a bit of house now. So I yeah. would love to do a tune with Drake. Um, probably never gonna happen, but I do keep saying it. Hopefully one day he just thinks, who's this annoying weirdo that keeps saying Drake? <laughs> yeah. And he'll just like try and make a PR stunt out of it and yeah. do a tune and like clip all the, the interviews together. That'd be sick. Is it, are you like a, a big Drake fan? Like, do you listen to him a lot? Yeah, that's like my favorite artist. Okay. Um, I'm not like an absolute Drake super fan. No, no, no. But, but like, I would choose to listen to Drake in my spare time, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, George said, what's your honest thoughts on JJ's rapping skills? Great. Like like I said, with Lighter, don't get me wrong, some of his older tunes, not so good. Mm. But he wasn't taking it as serious. When he's took it serious and his writing's improved and his delivery and everything, like... Even with um with the light up verse, I think like the only change was that like we said I'll oh, just put a bit more delivery in it. Mm-hmm. And I think now he's got it down to a T where it's like, I know what I am as an artist. I know yeah. what I can do musically. He's singing now. Yeah. Really, yeah. Like, yeah. well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think incredibly talented. Was yeah. there any old like KSI songs that you had heard that kind of made you think you wanted him on that song? If you know what I mean. Um... Had you heard any of? I mean, Lamborghini scared me. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but, that's what I mean because I can't imagine hearing Lamborghini going like, "Yeah, I want him on this." Like- yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose you know what? No, and that's why it was such a gamble because I'd never heard him artistically on that type of music like Lighter. Mm-hmm. So, like, it was a, it was a gamble to see how he sounds. That's why I was anticipating this verse so much, thinking, "Yeah, he's just going to be screaming like." Yo, Nathan, I feel lighter. And all this. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. Yeah, yeah. And that's why it, we were like, let's just hear what he comes back with. And when he came back, I was like, I've never heard JJ in that way before. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so I suppose, no, I didn't look at previous tunes and think, I want a bit of that. Yeah. 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 But I just thought, he's got it in him. And mm-hmm. he did. Yeah. And you did the whole song during COVID. Yes. So you actually didn't go to all, the studio. It was all Zoom calls. Whereas mm-hmm. Talia, now you've. Like studio, you, go, yeah, yeah. you are able to go like back and forth yeah. in person. That was the mad times about it. It was like on Zoom calls, doing studio sessions, couldn't really have the artist to artist relationship. Yeah. We were writing lighter on Zoom. And like, you know, it was all done virtually. And to say that to date, that's my most successful track. Mm-hmm. And it's the one that was done completely virtually. Yeah. Um, well, 21 Reasons as well was done. Um, well, we wrote, well, we were in the studio making the tune, but we virtually wrote the tune. Like we wrote the top line of it in like yeah. two hours on on Zoom. Mm. Um, and it's quite weird how they're my two biggest tunes. Yeah. And they were all done on Zoom. <laughs> Try it again. Yeah. <laughs> go, yeah, go, yeah. Go for another one. I find it crazy how so many these days artists don't even meet each other for songs or might not even ever had the idea to work together. It's yeah, just like yeah. a, an e- email or a beat with a verse attached to it. And that's just how it, There's so many know. tunes just knocking around like yeah. the vault mm. that, you know, like way too long was sitting around for years. Yeah. And like a few other artists tried it and it just didn't work. And then we did it and it worked. But mm-hmm. like, you know, we'll get offered songs every day from people like, do you want to jump on this? Do you want to try out on this? But it's never, sometimes the artist to artist, that's probably their manager asking my manager. Exactly, but ultimately, yeah. I mean, in my situation, it's always the artist that gets to say the final say, yeah, yeah. but not every artist is, is as lucky as that. Sometimes it doesn't even get to them and mm-hmm. they get told no. So yeah. always be on top of your team, I think. Uh, Just Avon said, what's your favorite hobby that nobody would guess you like? Do you do anything weird? Pokemon. Not that weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose ask the lad. Do I have got any weird hobbies? What's it, is he into anything Clean weird? Clean hobbies. He's just busy. I like, I like <laughs> flicking up the wall. Oh my God. What? So it's like a game that we play and um, when we're out and about and we're just having a drink or whatever, we'll like, we'll flick up the wall. Not with a coin. I'm not, I'm not penny doing somersaults. So basically, right. Penny up a wall. We haven't got okay. a wall. Penny up a wall. Yeah. Okay. So like you'll try and get the closest to the wall. Okay. But yeah, then we'll, yeah. play, we'll play for like a tenner each time. Yeah. And yeah. like whoever gets the closest. Um, or we'll just flick heads and tails. 
These are boring hobbies. That one's boring, man. The wall boring. one, the wall one's all right. You say it's boring, but when it's like, all right, 10 pound. Okay, heads, okay, yeah, yeah. Quits, And then you're in like for 400 quid. <laughs> okay, okay. And you're thinking- This might be a serious issue. Oh, well, I do think I'm actually a gambling <laughs> addict, maybe. <laughs> yeah. no, do you know what? Because um, it's just fun, in it? It just knocks yeah, a bit yeah, of time I out. You, I but I, do, I am coming across like a bit of a gambling addict. Um, I would say that my two hobbies, obviously football, boring answer. Um, I do, I, I, like Matt said, I'm so busy. Like with all, I've got obviously my, my music stuff, but I've got like a club abroad, which mm-hmm. I'm always working on. I've got, I'm opening a restaurant in my hometown. Nice. Um, I have property that I rent out as well. Plus in the music side of things, you're not just a musician. You've got to be a promoter. Mm-hmm. You've got to think of ideas for social media. You've got singles you've got to make, promote them, live shows, perfecting your live performance, like interviews. It's like, non-stop mm-hmm. I feel like I've got five full-time jobs yeah and because um, I'm so in control of everything which is a good thing but also a bad thing mm-hmm. my head just never shuts off because I'm constantly like you know all right yeah yeah I'll, I'll sleep at night and think have we ordered the radiator for the apartment in Manchester yeah. or I think, <laughs> yeah. I've promoted I've not done a post today to promote the pre-order link non-stop mm-hmm. so like I haven't got time to just go and fish yeah, or like. yeah so that's why i'll just flick because it's quicker <laughs> true it's quicker than fishing so when, you finish, when you finish music is yes it, is it fishing then not fishing yeah. or flicking no fishing oh definitely not because then you have time yeah i think fishing's fucking boring <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't a few of my friends fish and i'm like they just they set up the rod they get the rod out yeah they set, they set the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's what they call it they get the long rod out they leave it and then they've got like a bell on it yeah and when it moves yeah. Is that not the fucking weird? Yeah. I like, mean, I don't do it. Just yeah, to clear so, that so you sit there for like three, four hours <laughs> in a tent and then you hear a bell, you run out and then try and pick a fish out the water and then throw it back in. <laughs> true, I true. I just think like, do you know what you could do in them three or four hours? <laughs> true. Like so much, but yeah, people do find it a hobby and people probably watch this now and think, you know, well, oh, fishing's amazing and it is amazing, but I'd rather not, not for you. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Matthew asked, what's your favourite song you've ever produced? Once again, it's kind of the same as like yeah. every song's different, but for me, way too long okay. because all my other tunes were very like house chart pop tunes and way too long was my first, obviously Sweet Lies is quite garagey, but way too long was my first kind of garage record. And I'm a massive fan of Mostack as well. And he did a verse on it and the video shoot was amazing. And cause it was like garagey and more of my type of music that I'd play in my mm-hmm. own time. I was like, I, I love that tune. Like, you know, the production yeah. wise, that's one of my favorites. Sing. Sam asked, toilet roll, facing you or facing the wall? Hey, eh? If you what? have your toilet roll here. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it on the outside or is it on the, the inside? The bit that you pull off? Yeah. Fuck, I don't know. Weirdo. <laughs> no, that's I, not, no, 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 it's normal. I think that as well, you know. I'm like, no. when people ask me, I'm like, I would always say this way, only because that's the acceptable answer, but I don't actually care. In my house, it sometimes If flips. it's the other way. It just swaps. Tarly's what, what, what put it on you? the wrong. It always has to be this side. Like you roll to it and wall. it has to go over. So it's like, it's, you can pull it there, it's yeah. not under the wall. Yeah, if I do it under the wall, that's weird. Please I, tell me I'm not alone. I mean, this. I went for a wee in your house. I went for a wee in your house the other day and it was just on the side. Sorry, what did you mean? Oh yeah, you were at mine. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, like how weird that sounded. <laughs> Sorry. I, was, I was doing promotion with Talia. After we finished, I went for a wee. Yeah. yeah and but the toilet roll was just like on the side like that. That, that was, was that was the uh, the spare bedroom. That was, nah, spare, that was nah. a spare toilet. And to also every toilet. we don't own that. So we can't put something on the wall to have a- You can, right. you can. Well, we're moving. So. No, no, no. You can, at my yeah, house. Well, we're no, 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 no. At my house. Don't argue about it. That's fine. No, no, no. A suction cup. Yeah, but we're moving. So? When are you moving? January? Yeah. Bro, you got like- yeah, but I don't use that toilet. Three months more of shit. I don't use that toilet. Yeah, all I'm saying is you can't, you've got time. You can get a suction one. But why would I bother? On. I've you never mean, used that you toilet. You just made a comment. You've got no time. You've got time. Honestly, that, no, on. I'm just saying, why would I bother? Because I don't use that toilet. I'll buy one for your birthday. I mean, okay. I just, I'm at my house. I have got one of them things you put it on. A toilet roll holder. Yeah. But um, I'll just leave it wherever. It, it doesn't matter, really. It doesn't matter, yeah. But I, I yeah. use tissue paper for weeing and pooing. Yeah, yeah. So like I'm, <laughs> it sounds really weird, but I'm like a clean freak. All right, yeah. So you know, like naturally when you've finished and you've mm-hmm, mm-hmm. shaken it off. Yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> this, is big, this is huge, man. I don't like any residue. Got you. Of does, any like. Do, does anyone? Well, no, but <laughs> I feel like maybe I've got a problem, but when I'm wee, like it takes me a while for it to all come out. I think, <laughs> I think it's like it's so long. It just takes a while for right, it to come right, out. Right. So then 
I have to like dab it to make sure that it's. Yeah, yeah. Should fair. we move on to the next question? No, no. What, what else well, was the saying? next one? Isn't much better to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Zane says, if you were to make a song about your sex life, what would it be called? <laughs> Sweet lies. You can pass. Sex on fire. <laughs> no, is that boring. Nice. No, no, no. no? Um, Sweet lies. Out of my own songs. That's, that's so weird. I know. Yeah. Is that out of my own songs, or uh, I'll say yeah. it's my own songs yeah. way too long. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Um, is there a song that actually that you actually hate performing? I mean, I suppose for a DJ, it's not really performing because I just literally go. <laughs> is there one that is there ever a song that you kind I of? I think oh shit, I've got to play that. I forgot yeah. to play it. That um, you can say anyway. Say no, I can. <laughs> can I? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think because I've got so many songs now I I'm not naive to think some of my songs aren't the biggest so I think why play them if you know 90% of the crowd probably don't really want to hear that song mm. um, I suppose it comes down to chart position but no I suppose you know like when I'm in the process of making a tune so it's Sweet Lies for example because I've heard it over and over again in the last like month non-stop every mm. day and you'd like like last night I was thinking, shit, I ain't played Sweet Lies yet. But I'm thinking, I've got to play it to promote it. Yeah. But realistically, the thought of hearing that song again right now when I've heard it 50 times today yeah. is stressing me out. But yeah. um, <laughs> no, I suppose it's not like, oh, I can't be asked to play this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think when I play a song that I've not played in a while, then it's nicer to just hear it. Yeah, makes sense. And the last question is, who is the best artist of all time? Hmm. You'd have to say Drake. Oh. In my opinion, obviously, if you go in like past and present, you know, you'd say like, I don't know, it's like Queen and stuff, like mm -hmm. incredible. But like for me right now, I'd say Drake, he's done, he's consistently been at the top. Anything he does tops the charts. Yeah. It's, I've never heard a tune from Drake and thought, not a fan of that. It's always good mm. or amazing. It's never like that shit. Yeah. He's almost streamed on Spotify as well. Yeah. yeah. You can't argue with numbers. No, so like, no. in my opinion, Drake. Yeah. I asked Randy this last week and he said Macklemore. Why? <laughs> What's your favourite about, about thrift shop? No, I, I, he's lying. He's lying. Oh, I, right. I, I don't like... I've heard Macklemore. I've listened to his album, but I don't love him. You've listened to his album? Yeah. yeah. You literally play it all the time. Thrift. What, thrift shop or his album? The whole album. What's your favourite Macklemore tune? I don't know thrift shop. <laughs> you just said you listened to his album. Well, but when, back in the day when he was out, I'd loop it on Spotify or something, but I, I can't remember any, any of the song. He had, he had thrift store and he had that one with thrift like- Thrift store? Thrift shop. I think I've, <laughs> I think I feel like I've convinced you you're a Macklemore fan. I'm not a Macklemore fan. <laughs> I was pissed when he won you the Grammy. You should Macklemore on. True, <laughs> true, podcast. true, true. Uh, no, but he had, it was Ryan Lewis. I think he carried him. He was the producer. He was sick. Bit unfair. <laughs> <laughs> he made that song with like wings or something. The, yeah, the, the, the slower one. one. Yeah, yeah. 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 But he's lying. I'm not. I think Michael Moore's a G, to be honest. I think he's pretty sick. I think you've actually been pretty mean about him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> um, who else are my favourite artists? Is? Favourite or the best? Who's the greatest of all the time? Greatest of all time. Don't know. Michael Jackson, maybe? Didn't think of yeah. him. Probably should have. You know, Michael Jackson, I heard of, I saw a video on TikTok going around with his real singing voice. It's yeah. mental. It's super, super deep. What was it? He used to talk high pitched and uh, used to do that at like, false light or whatever because he was trying to rest his voice. Yeah. He didn't want to ruin his voice. He'd always talk softly like that, but his actual voice is just deep. Mad. You know, kind of interesting. The more you know. <laughs>